Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. Trading started on the negative note on Monday. Traders were averse to risk. Asian stocks fell as can be seen by Japanese Topics 500 index, which opened with a gap to the downside and then declined. Yields fell and traders were concerned about global economic growth slowed down, especially after European PMIs disappointed on Friday. We can see that European stock index stocks 600 futures also was under pressure and opened with a gap down. Trading uh, took place below 200 day moving average and a return above 368 here is necessary for bulls to regain some confidence. Then, however, sentiment somewhat improved uh, as data came out that confidence among German companies went up and German IFO business uh, sentiment index surprised to the upside. In addition, the market is remembering that Global central banks are conducting extremely loose monetary policy and that might help stocks in the medium and longer term to resume growth. There were also reports that um, the investigations about Donald Trump's ties with Russia during his 2016 presidential campaign were uh, found not really existing so um, as a result the risk of Trump's impeachment is now um, non-existing uh, the markets were not really concerned about this but uh, all in all that is um, a positive factor for the stock market if we look at S&P 500 index we will see that it is um, currently in the area of 2800 um, at the support level, the stronger support uh, for this week lies around 2760, where we find 200 day moving average. And uh, as for resistance, it is the area which prevented S&P 500 from further growth last week. Resistance around 2870 mark. The biggest uh, event uh, today on Monday is the presentation of Apple, which is scheduled at 18 um, o'clock Central European time. The company is expected to unveil streaming video and news services. And um, it is uh, aiming to uh, develop as a digital service provider. This is an important challenge for the company and this may be a big strategic step um, because uh, the presentation is not about the new iPhone but about a entry to the market at which Apple hasn't been present yet. This market is occupied by uh, such big players as Netflix, Amazon, and we know that Disney and AT&T also plan to develop their streaming services. Apple, of course, has advantages in the form of 1.4 billion active Apple devices, and uh, it may start developing uh, with that. And the company also is rich with cash, so it can invest. However, surely if Apple tries to do something at this market, it will take time. The company will need to make big investment in content to be able to compete with Netflix or Amazon. So there may be some positive impact um, after the presentation, but it will be necessary to see uh, whether Apple is planning a lot in this area in the near term, uh, in the upcoming months, and if this year it will make significant decisions there. You can see that the stock is uh, trading above uh, support in the area of 187.80. 
uh, it is also currently trading at 200 day moving average in the area of 190 and uh, as long as it stays above this level it may try to revisit the highs which are just below 200 mark another story is um, tesla here there was an opening with a gap to the downside as uh, many analysts uh, say that the company's vehicle deliveries will disappoint in the first quarter and uh, CEO Elon Musk is in a contradictory situation with uh, the regulator about his Twitter comments and his compliance with court's decision. As a result, here we can expect that uh, the stock will likely remain under pressure. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to Trademo channel and tomorrow we'll discuss the results of Apple's presentation.